everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Alyssa, and i'm so thankful you are here for a april 2023 budget setup video i am very excited to get this video set up we are actually already a week into april and i feel very very behind i have already closed out my march budget like a week ago and now i need to like formally set up my april budget i don't know why i didn't film them on the same day i think i was just being a little bit lazy um but because everything mostly in my budget is automatic and my spending habits are pretty much the same i i don't feel as stressed that I haven't got it set up but man I'm gonna have that whole weight lifted off my shoulder the moment this video is ended and we get all the numbers laid out here so if you like budgeting content planning content or side hustle content make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe right down here to my youtube channel it's totally free and it really does help me out so let's get into the actual calendar for the month I used some more life and envelope stickers and the first thing we do when we set up our budget is we have to lay out when everything from our bare bones budget worksheet is due and then I also add in some life events so for the first paycheck of the month everything in pink here will be paid and the second paycheck of the month which is the 15th through the 30th will be paid with the blue here so for the first of the month we've got rent life and pet insurance that is automatically deducted from my checking account. The rent, I do make the transfer myself. And then we have utilities, which I could probably just write rent and utilities, um, but that's beside the point here. And then we also have student loan. The rent and the student loan, I have to make the transfers myself. I didn't have a number here, but or a date, I should say, but I do normally make the transfer when I make the rent transfer. And then on the fifth of the month, we do have B of A credit card and the Alaska Airlines credit card due. It's the same bank, so that's why it's due on the same day. And then we do have some therapy sessions. Actually, this is the only therapy. Wait, I do have it on a different day. So therapy on this Wednesday. And then we also have the acorn. So we have $20 acorns every Thursday. So $20 acorns. And then also we have the Merrill. So the Merrill, these are both investings. With the acorns, it does go into an investing account. And then the Merrill is split between a Roth IRA and a brokerage account. I made that decision to start adding the $40 a week to the Merrill because I did get a raise from work and I wanted to put it towards good use versus spending it on, you know, who knows what. So we've got $20 acorns for this last Thursday. And then we also have the Merrill as well. Okay, so let's double check the first half of the month. So we've got rent, life insurance, pet insurance, utilities, B of A, Alaska Airlines, you've got therapy, and we've got the student loan. Um, I don't have the Merrill on here. I should probably do something with that. I need to actually redo this whole sheet, but that's something for another day. So moving on to the second paycheck. So we're gonna still do rent, and we have utilities, and a student loan. For my student loan, I do save $125 per paycheck. And then on the 16th, we've got Spotify. And then on the 21st, we have Peacock, which is a streaming service. What else do we have? We do have therapy again, and I actually think it's here. I need to double check my calendar, but I'm pretty positive. Normally it would have been the 6th, but she is on vacation this week, so we moved it out, and then I'm gonna have it again. Normally it's every other every other week. So we've got the acorns we've already got done. We need to write the LA Fitness. And then again, we've got the acorns done, therapy done, and the student loan payment done. Okay, so that's everything for the bare bones budget worksheet. Now I need to write in when I'm out of town. So I will be um, for like Easter, I'm going to my grandparents' house. Um, actually, I'm filming this video on the 8th. So we've got Easter trip, um, and then Easter is the Sunday. I will be back on Sunday, so that's no worries. And then we also have, am I going anywhere else? Hmm, I did have a event here, um, comedy show, because I know that's gonna contribute to my budget. I was also out of town this day. I was in Reno, 
and then in Reno. And then on Thursday, the 13th, I do have a fundraiser to go to. This is to support a club that I was in in college and I'm still a huge like donor towards, huge supporter of. I wouldn't say huge donor. I mean, I might be donate like $200 throughout the year in total. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Then on the 16th, I am going to a baseball game that will yield probably a lot of expense and then the 22nd i do have a sounders game and then starting on friday i am at a bachelorette trip jerlorette i probably spelled that wrong trip we have a early morning flight and that's going all the way through the actually the first of may here so i'll be out of town for that the goals for the month is to pretty much just like pay off the credit cards they should all be paid off with savings and i'll walk you through that when we set up the actual budget for the first half of april um, but i want to pay off all the credit cards with the savings that i have allocated towards those specific like transactions and then my sister and i have a little project we're working on so i want to make sure i finish setting up um the project so a to z project and i will probably like share that with you guys like once it's all set up and we have some like inventory there but hopefully it'll create a another stream of income for myself so that's everything off camera i will go through and like highlight all of these according to my budget category so i can remember like you know easter or driving baseball game is fun entertainment versus debt self-care stuff like that so setting up the budget for april 1st through april 14th because they get paid on the 15th we do have to do the inflow of money coming in so of course i have my regular w2 paycheck and that is one thousand eight hundred and thirteen dollars and then side hustles i don't have a form today guys because i only have one side hustle that i had money from and that is from trivia they take all the taxes out for me and that check was 190 when i was sick i had to miss two shows so that's why this is way less than it normally is i was super bummed because this would have been closer to almost 300 dollars but you know it is what it is i can't really do anything about that and then i do have a bunch of savings i'm going to pull over and i want to write this all out so i remember myself of what the savings are for so savings we're pulling from ally because that's where i keep all of my like bulk savings we are pulling from the reno trip which is a bachelorette trip i'm pulling one thousand and fifty dollars that covers pretty much everything and then i have miami which is the other bachelorette trip and i need to pay the bride for that which is 403 right now that's just for the hotel and some activities the rest will come out probably in the may paycheck even though like some of this has already happened i'm still like going to pay for it now um because it's on my credit card and it's just like okay let's just do it right now and then i do have another flight in may i'm going somewhere else and i had to pay i paid one of the flight with miles and then the other because i'm flying a different airline and then being 152 and then i am pulling some extra savings from my cushion i wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this but i am so determined to pull up pay off my credit card that I'm fine pulling some money from my cushion which is at about 900 right now to just like get that debt paid off so I don't have any interest to cure there okay so if we calculate all of this up we had 1050 403 plus 152 plus 400 this is $2,005 for the savings that we're gonna pull from Ally and my cushion to pay off my credit cards. So $2,005 will be the savings income. And that's why savings is so important. And honestly, most of this, if not all of it, came from my side hustles. Every other week, you guys see how much money I put into sinking funds, and that's what's paying for this pretty much all of these trips right now. So bringing back the calculator, we had 1813 plus 190 plus 2005 gives us four thousand and eight dollars now i'm bringing back my bare bones budget worksheet here because we do have to write in when all the fixed expenses are due 
So we've got rent and utilities. Both due on the first. Rent will be 400 and utilities is 50. And then we have pet insurance and life insurance. So pet is how much? 37. And life insurance, I believe, is 22. Yes. So one and one, it's due on the first. And then we do have the student loan also due on the first. And that is 125. And then we have Bank of America, we won't do. We can actually put that B of A and Alaska credit card. There's no minimum payments because I pay the balance off in full. Just that's why I don't put it in the fixed expense category. Then we do have Acorns. And then we have Merrill and then therapy. So acorns, how many Thursdays do we have in this paycheck period? One, two, so that means we have two Merrill as well. So this will be 40 and this will be 80. So every paycheck, I'm the minimum I'm putting into my investment portfolios is $120 investment and Roth IRA. And then therapy is just a $25 copay. And then also, because I forgot to put it on there, I do have my Costco membership that is due. It's actually already been taken out of my checking account. So I forgot to kind of budget that originally, but that's that. All right, so if we add up all of the fixed expenses here, we've got 400 plus 50 plus 37 plus 22 plus 125 plus 40 plus 80 plus 25 plus 60 gives us $839. Now if we take the $4,008 we started with minus $839, gives us $3,169 for the rest of the month. So for the variable expenses here, normally it's the grocery, eating out, gas, car, etc. So we've got grocery and I am going to budget $100 for grocery. I've been doing really, really well with grocery shopping and make sure I have food to eat. If you watch the March budget close up video, you know I went to Costco and I still have so much stuff left over from Costco. So I don't anticipate, hopefully not even getting close to that 100, but we'll see how the cookie crumbles. And then we've got eating out. I'm going to still continue to budget high until I really get this under control, but it will be 150. Gas and car, because I'm driving down, it's about three hours away um, from Seattle. I'm driving down to Portland. Um, I know my gas will be a little bit more this these two weeks, so I'm going to budget 100 for that. And then investments, this is definitely variable depending on how much I swipe my cards. It's in addition to Acorns and Merrill. I'm going to budget $30 here. Fun and entertainment. I do have some stuff, as you saw, when I put it down on the calendar. Um, some stuff going on, so I'm going to budget $100 for that. I'd rather over budget on something to know that I have the money for it, and maybe I just don't even hit that total amount, then not have enough saved for that or I'd budgeted for it, and then I'm like kind of putting stuff on credit cards. I don't want to do that. Holiday is next, and that's going to be zero. I don't have any really holiday expenses. Self-care, I do need to get my nails done, so that's going to be 50. Miscellaneous, we're just going to budget 25 because who knows what I pick up. Travel and vacay. So let's actually go back to when we broke down the savings because this is going to be an important piece here of how much we need to put towards travel. So travel was 1050 for the Reno trip plus Miami, which is 403, plus the May flight, which is 152, gives us 1605 for travel. Even though I could technically put it for the Alaska because it's on the Alaska credit card, I am going to account it towards the travel and vacation category because it's so recent and that's honestly like what it was for and what the sinking fund is for too so what did we say 1605 and the last variable expense is pets and i always budget normally it's 35 dollars, but i ended up paying my roommate 50 dollars because she's been watching my cat while i've been gone and i just wanted to give her some money um, to say thank you and then i appreciate her so i plus so 50 plus 35 is going to be 80 so let's add all of that up. We've got 100 plus 150 plus 100 
plus 30, plus 100, plus 50, plus 25, plus 1605, plus 85. So $2,245. But we got to take the 3169 minus the 2245 gives us $924 left over. So we've got 924. Before we do the sinking funds, I actually want to do the debt first and whatever we have left over, I will apply to sinking funds. So it's gonna be a little backwards here. So for my Bank of America card, there's nothing here. For my Alaska Airlines card, I'm gonna put $215 towards that. And then to the Discover credit card, I wrote that very poorly. I want to do $400. Actually, this is supposed to be 214. I calculated this before. And that's what's left after all of these sinking funds is $214 left on that card. So in total, that should be $614. So if you take the 924 minus 614 gives us $310. So that's what my sinking funds should add up towards. So of course we've got our normal um, like Christmas, right? Christmas, always a heavy hitter, but I am going to kind of not actually put anything towards Christmas this month. I have like $750 already in my Christmas fund. And it's only April. So I I'm just going to skip this budget paycheck period because I have so many trips coming up. I really want to put like a lot of this chunk into vacation and future fun. So Christmas gets zero and actually Hallmark holidays that I normally put down is also getting zero. That's the budget. And then we have a car maintenance and insurance is getting 50. I'm kind of lightening up just for this paycheck period, maybe April overall, I'm only gonna put 50 versus 100. And then we have future fun is getting $80. And then 2023, oh, I wrote that wrong. 2023, correct that, VK is getting 100. 2024 vacation is getting its normal $35. And then Costco is getting $20. This is gonna be in cash. And then we do have pets that I still need to bulk back up my fund there. We're giving $25. So hopefully I did not miss anything. Let's add that up. So we've got 50 plus 80 plus 100 plus 35 plus 20 plus 25 gives us 310. Perfect. So 924 minus 310 gives us 614. 614 and we should be left with zero at the end of the month. I'm almost, I'm going to write sinking funds here um because if i don't if i have money left over it's all going to go towards sinking funds the rest of the month but i'm not budgeting anything for that Whew. all right i think we've got it all laid out i can finally make all of these transfers and get my budget where it needs to be for like literally being halfway through april already um but i appreciate each and every one of you watching this video i hope it was helpful please leave me a comment below of what your april goals are financially personally or any other goals i would love to hear about it i do really really enjoy following along on all of your journeys as well so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i will see you all in my next video real soon bye everyone